This is how to use Optimism, which is an Ethereum layer two. So you can use Uniswap and Aave and other Ethereum applications, but for way cheaper and pay way less gas. I'm gonna show you how to set up with MetaMask uh, and then connect it to applications to use them. All of the timestamps are listed below if you wanna skip ahead. But Optimism is a low cost network on top of Ethereum, so it's an L2. And it works in exactly the same way, but you need to add it. So firstly, we need to add Optimism as a network to our MetaMask. If you don't have MetaMask, as uh, you know, as a browser extension yet, then I'll leave that tutorial below. It shows you how to download MetaMask and set it up and then add networks to it. But really easy, if you do have MetaMask, the easiest way is to go over to Uniswap and then add the network through Uniswap because it's gonna automatically fill in all the details for you. So if you do have MetaMask already, go to Uniswap like this, go up to the top right, click the networks and then just click Optimism. If you have MetaMask set up, it's going to want to swap out the networks for you. So it will just go over and say, for me, it says switch network, so I already have the network added. If you don't, it's gonna say, do you wanna add Optimism as a network? Press yes, and then it will just add it for you into your MetaMask. Um, if that doesn't work, then I'll show you exactly what to do. Go into your MetaMask and go up to settings in the top right. Uh, click settings here and then go to networks on the left and then network name is optimism new rpc url is this one right here chain id 10 so you can input those details you can pause this on screen that is what you can add press save and then that will save the optimism network for you so now you have the optimism set up in your metamask if you want to bridge ethereum over from your ethereum mainnet over to optimism go to optimism.io and then come up to bridge this will let you send eth from your mainnet over to your Optimism account. It's the same address. You just have to come, come up to the right and click connect wallet, uh, connect your MetaMask, connect that to the bridge, press next, press connect right here. So now you're connected to the bridge on your Ethereum mainnet. And if you have any ETH in here, you can just very simply transfer it over to Optimism. That will take a while and you'll have to pay a gas fee of course, because um, you're using the ETH mainnet. You can see 20 minutes it's gonna take and it's gonna cost me around about $4 in this instance. If you have ETH in your account, just literally press uh, bridge over and it will be in your Optimism account ready to use. A much cheaper and faster way to get ETH or other assets over to your Optimism network account is to withdraw them straight from the exchange. And a lot of exchanges actually support direct withdrawals over Optimism these days. Binance is one of them. Uh, if you don't have a Binance account yet, I'll leave their deposit bonus in the description. It's a good uh, bonus uh, that you can get. But simply just choose ETH or you can choose some other coins as well, like the Optimism token if you want. So press the coin that you want to withdraw, then put your MetaMask or your wallet address in here. Then when you choose network, go down and choose Optimism as a network. You can do that now and you can see the cost is 56 cents versus Ethereum, which is $2 right now, but it can go up to like $15. So you can just withdraw directly on Optimism and then the ETH or the other token that's supported will be um, directly put into your Optimism MetaMask or other wallet account. To use Optimism as a network with applications, it's exactly the same as using Ethereum. You just have to make sure that you're actually on your Optimism account in MetaMask to use the apps. So in the top right, just check that you're on the Optimism network. And now if you've withdrawn some ETH to your network or any other token, you can actually swap it in Uniswap. So it's gonna be exactly the same as ETH. If you had one ETH in there, you could swap it for another token like USDT, and you're just gonna pay way lower uh, gas fees to actually do that swap. You can see the gas fee here on Uniswap is 11 cents versus what, $5 or something on the Ethereum mainnet. And then once you have some tokens in your Optimism, you can access Optimism markets on different applications. So on Aave, which is a lending protocol, you can see there's an Optimism market. If you go to Aave and then go over to the markets tab, which is in the top right here, and then go over to, you know, search the markets, you can see each network has a different market. So if you're on Arbitrum, you'll see, you know, different rates for all of the coins. So Optimism, as of making this video, are actually doing like a yield incentive program. So on the Aave market, as long as you have some US dollar tether in your Optimism network, in your MetaMask, you can click on that uh, and then go to click on supply right here uh, and then just go through with that transaction to actually supply some tether. Uh, and for right now, they're actually giving it a yield incentive in OP tokens um, at 2%. So whatever you put onto the Aave protocol, they'll give you that 2% as a bonus in OP tokens. So up in the top right, you just have to make sure that you're connected to your wallet uh, and then your Optimism market has some coins in and you can just use each application in exactly the same way. 
Also a quick tip for people that use a hardware device with MetaMask, with Ledger anyway, um, you can't add Optimism as an application or a network in Ledger, it won't let you, but you just use the Ethereum network as normal. So once you're in Optimism linked up with your Ledger device, you can go to any application and, and go through with the transaction and sign the transaction by being in the Ethereum application on your Ledger device. That goes for Arbitrum as well or other layer two networks. You can just use the Ethereum app in your Ledger to sign the transaction. Um, so so that's how it works. Optimism also has a native DEX called Velodrome, which is kind of a mix between Uniswap and Curve. At the moment, they are paying some incentives to get people to come and provide liquidity on their DEX. Um, now with new applications, it's always buyer beware really with this versus something like Uniswap, which has been around for such a long time and obviously is seen to be much more secure and battle tested. Um, but you know, more risk equals more reward, I guess. You can just swap tokens on here normally via the swap feature, just like on Uniswap. If you go over to pools, you can see some of the tokens that they want people to provide liquidity for. Um, so one of them here is USDC and DAI, uh, so a stable pair. And you can see the APR for it right now is around 9%, which is far higher than you're gonna get on you know, most other um, exchanges and uh, liquidity pools. So if you go to manage right here, you can actually add both of these tokens in. So if you have USDC and DAI, you can uh, put it in the stable pairing right here and then press deposit and stake. Uh, and then you have both of those tokens into a uh, liquidity pool, and then you can earn those very good rewards. Now, I think a lot of those rewards will come in the Velodrome token. So you might wanna take those tokens, swap them back into yeah, USDC and DAI, and then obviously put that back into um, earning some extra tokens. But uh, essentially what they're doing is incentivizing people to come over and provide liquidity in some of these pairs. If you wanna know more about that, I'll leave some links in the description about um, some of the risks and rewards, and if it's good to actually do that and provide liquidity because you can earn high APRs for sure, but there are some risks you need to be aware of, especially with some of the more volatile pairs. So I'll leave some links below to videos that kind of go through it as well. That is all covered in my crypto course as well. So if you want to look at that, that will definitely help you out. But Velodrome is kind of the main go-to DEX that is native to Optimism. Optimism is also being integrated into many different apps as well. For example, Beefy, which is a yield optimizer. What this does is um, uses the liquidity pools of on mostly velodrome and automates the yield strategy. So if you have two um, tokens, for example, the OP token and DAI, that is a liquidity pool on the velodrome exchange. And what it does is it yield farms all of the incentive tokens for you, sells them and then puts them back into the strategy. So it's kind of like an automated smart contract that does that. Now, um, Beefy does this cross chain. So you can actually see all of the different chains here from Binance Smart Chain, Avalanche, Polygon, Arbitrum, all of the cheaper chains. They've just integrated optimism as well um, and you can see that it does that across basically velodrome and a couple of the other applications that are supported on uh, optimism like Aave as well so again um, not saying that it's a good idea or not to go into any of these liquidity pairs um, each one has to be seen for the risk that it poses but I'm just saying that you know optimism is being integrated into a lot of different applications right now I'll put all the video guides to MetaMask, Optimism, Liquidity Pairs, Beefy, and loads of other applications down in the description if you wanna know exactly how to use them. Also check out the crypto course if you wanna know kind of what DeFi is and you know how I use it as well. I'm James, it's Money ZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.